Hey everybody, welcome to Talk Daily. Uh, my name is Eddie, and today we're going to be talking about uh, this uh, machine. Oh boy, I, I I don't know where to start from, but anyways, the 2023 Morgan Super 3 is coming to America. Hooray! And look, they're already they're already dressed up. Here comes the costume, and uh, oh, look at the mustache, look at the hat, look at the glasses. I mean, wow, wow, wow. Look, it has a little backpack on the side. Uh, I think that's where you can put your spare wheel. I, oh my God, dude. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wow, it has a side bar. Look at the wheels. Oh, isn't it lovely? It's proper British car, isn't it lovely? Oh, darling, get in the, get in the Morgan. We're going to quite bumble around in the road in our Morgan. Look at our very narrow wheels. And it says Avon as a British Union Jack. You see it there. All right. After I insulted everybody in the UK, uh, my apologies. But maybe this car works in Europe. But I, I know we have, like, Southern California, we got the most amazing roads. I'm pretty sure you can drive it there. But I have issues with three wheels. Okay. I have issues because... Uh, I'm not a big fan of this kind of configuration because all it is not too. I mean, put the other wheel in this car would be so much fun, man. Just put the other wheel. Can you imagine how fun this car would be actually if you have actual traction in the rear? I mean, you know, and if you're thinking that you're going to be drifting in this car, it, no, man, no. I, it's beautiful. I want to. I want to buy it. But just can I please can, can I have an option when he put the wheel on the back? Can can we have an option? Can I have two wheels, please, please? I don't need that little purse thing on the side. Can I can I have the other wheel, please? I mean, I don't know. I think of course if you're gonna buy it, you probably have the appeal because you like the three wheels and you, in your head you're like, oh my god, that's such a fantastic idea. Do you know why they did that in Europe, right? Because they were broke. The tax was pretty high. So three wheels was cheaper to tax. In America, we don't have no problem. We're America. We got money. We got money. We got land. We got freeways. We got everything. I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I don't like British, like British race and grain. And oh, darling, let's get in our British vehicle. I, I don't think England is like that. England is a far more modern than this. Okay. But. To if a person never been to England, it probably looks at this and goes, "Oh yeah, it's like the pub." No, there's a lot more modern image to England than this, and not just England, the UK and whatever. All right, here's my rant. So let's get to the article. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Always we have a problem, Houston. What is los? Why you have a problem? No, you should not have a problem. Nicht ein Rory. We can open it again. Yeah, there it is. Not problem. You have no idea what this thing happened. Anyway, the first car, the Morgan Company building, 113 years ago, was a three-wheeler. Two-wheel up front for steering and stability, and a single drive at the rear for lack of stability and drifting. They didn't say that, but that's pretty much what it is. In fact, until 1936, Morgan built nothing but three-wheelers. Over a century later, the all-new 2023 Morgan three-wheeler might be the most important yet. Uh, it goes on saying, old school, meet new school, um... I, I, uh, so going on saying the Monaco makes this Morgan debut. You know, this thing's made out of wood, right? Uh, so they still have good blue. So, okay, so hey, go. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Super 3 chassis is super formed aluminum Monaco. Aluminium, you say? Monaco making his first Monaco Morgan in history. <gasps> wow. Bolted to the front of this large cast aluminum structure. How did Morgan discover casting aluminum? I thought this was supposed to be wheels and nails. Made with proper wood, I say. Cattle to the engine provide a all pickup point to the multi link front suspension. Who cares? You have multi link front suspension when you got one wheel on the back. One, like, what are you supposed to do? Enter a turn really hot? Dude, the front will grip, the back will whoy. And you go into that drum drifting, honey, in, 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 in a boat, but it. Oh. Look, I love sliding, but this is not exactly a drift mobile. The single rear wheel is located by a twin beam swing arm with coil over shock at either side and a beetle backed body enveloping its more superformed aluminium. 
through modern detailing and execution, the Super 3 layout is pure vintage. Vintage Morgan, ensuring that the engine and cooling system sat no further forward than the front axle. Ah. Uh, yeah, look at the hat. That's what kills it for me, man. That, like when, it, when people start dressing up period clothes to get in their period car, which built in a 2023, I understand if this was an older Morgan, by all means. This is a 2023 model, dude. Like, who, 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 what, what, I don't know. And this article talks about the 1960s and the 1970s. And, of course, they're going to talk about the Battle of England, right? The Battle of England. You know, they're going to talk about Luftwaffe and the Messer Schmidt and how this sounds like a Spitfire. Please tell me there's a word Spitfire somewhere here because I'm pretty sure there's going to be someone in a hurricane and a Spitfire. Uh, how much? Okay, so how much? How much? Um... What was going on here? Seventy thousand to start. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta get that one. Get that Morgan. Get that one. The Morgan uh, Plus Four CTX. Yeah, that, get that. That Morgan is worth it. That 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 baby right here. I will get that one. I will get even that one. Okay, those are great. Another three wheeler. I know. Look, I mean, it looks really fancy. It's custom car, and it's just very okay. I got that part. If you if for the for the looks, you know, for the front engine, you see how the cooling engine on the front. Yeah, I see that. Okay, that I see. But as you realize, this one does not have the distinct feature because it's coming to America. Okay, if it wasn't coming to America, I'm pretty sure it would have that V twin engine in the front, which makes it look very bonkers. And you're like, okay, yeah, I want it because it looks so crazy. Okay, I mean, if you have a vehicle, ooh, that's not the Porsche, this, look at that. I mean, how can you look at this and say, I don't want, right? All you want to do is put like a machine gun on the front, right? And just pretend you're somewhere in the Battle of England, right? Because it just looks so stupid crazy. And that's beautiful. That is a beautiful Morgan. That wheel, yes. I'm not the other one. And this, you can't have it here because you can't. You know, uh, the phone police will say, oh, well, what happened if you hit a pedestrian? Oh, well, he dies. I don't know. Freaking metal hits his bones. He'll be dying. But, yeah, it is what it is. Look at this shark mouth. You know, oh, my God. It looks like an A10, doesn't it? Oh, my God. This is beautiful. It's just, I love this. This is beautiful engineering. The British make amazing cars, okay? You know, along for my stupid dialect, they make amazing stuff. Oh, what's the other one? Oh, I talked about this one. That's the one to get. It's cheap, well, cheaper, and, uh, yeah, okay, this is like a video showing you walk around and the engine in the front, but that's not the Morgan I was talking about, not the three wheels. Uh, yeah, it's such a, like, look at me car, but, okay, cool guy, cool bro, he's a cool guy. This, that's what to get, because I know it looks stupid, but trust me, this thing handles really well. It drives great, and handles great, it's very lightweight, it, but the problem is how much it costs. 2,250 pound road going, that's... That's light. I mean, you can get a Miata, but hey, you don't want a Miata. You want to get something different. That. Get that. 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 And it has a BMW 3.4 liter, 335 horsepower engine. I mean, that thing is beautiful. That thing is It has a bit more weight because that's the, the roll cage, which I... How would you roll this vehicle? I have no idea. I mean, don't... Forget about the super roll cage and how many tires it has in the back. It just... I, I don't know what this is. It's just pretending like... Again, they're pretending, I don't know, Sahara Desert, um, the WRC back in the day in Africa, which I stopped doing it anyway because the cars were keep killing like animals crossing the road and whatnot was dangerous. But I guess they're paying homage to that. But if you have this car and you want to do that in a desert, cool, whatever suits your needs. But um, that's the one to get. That's the one to get. As far as all that stuff in the junk, no, please. What is that? Casing and light and extra tires. You're not going to get that, dude. What are, you, what are you, you going to rip the tires? These tires are... I mean, if you get the proper tires, they should be pretty set. Anyways, but... Um, I, I guess I'm doing something like a Top Gear thingy. But Top Gear did this without even any of these things. So, anyways, this is a great car. <gasps> $230,000? No! Okay, we're done. Okay, we, this video is over. You know, forget it. No, don't spend $230,000 on this. This is getting stupid. This thing's getting stupid now. I'm not sure, man. I, I really thought that... Okay, anyways. I just want you guys to know it exists. Hey, congratulations. You want to get this? Uh, the mustache doesn't come with a car and a hat, but I'm pretty sure you'll find it somewhere in some vintage shop. The the nice-looking lady, I don't think it comes with a car either. So, hey, um, 
Um, I'm not sure. The guy doesn't come with a card. The girl doesn't come with a card. He's just going to get this, if you want to call it a card, a three-wheeler. Um, I guess for 75000 considering the one I liked is 235000 I guess this is a bargain. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you like anything, this is exciting. Anything, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, let me know. Um, I... Oh my god, I can't imagine seventy thousand. I don't know, and um, I don't know what are you gonna drive this car on a beach like this. I have no idea where. Um, I saw on Top Gear a couple of times they're driving the cars on the beach, but forget about this in California. You know, you can't drive your car on the beach. Maybe if you go to Baja Mexico, but I don't know. I'm not aware anywhere on um, in Cali or Washington. I'm not sure where you can drive your car physically drive it on the beach. So that's not gonna happen that shot. But hey. If you could do it, why not? And if this is the vision you got it just so you could have the vision, you know, and be happy, sure, you know, whatever makes you happy. But see, they keep talking about M MX5. <laughs> um, it's, oh, it has a Mazda transmission. Wow, isn't that cute? Uh, it has a Mazda transmission. Just get the Mazda. Save yourself all that money. Um, they reinforce it, I guess. They reinforce the transmission so you can handle the more power. And, but it has a Mazda transmission, so, you know. I don't know, 130 miles an hour. I don't think I'm going to do 130 miles in that, but hey, sure. Uh, with no roof, no doors, <laughs> optional aero screen. <laughs> These are optional. I don't know. I guess it's just the experience of driving it. Uh, anyways, um, let me know what you think, okay? Uh, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This has been a crazy video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.